Hello everyone and welcome to another poster tutorial. So today the uh, poster is inspired by Joe Rogan and is one of his quotes, one of my favorite ones, which is be the hero of your own story. So this is like a very powerful, a very, very powerful quote and I really wanted to design a poster around it. So let's just jump, create a new document in Illustrator. I'm going to use a 1700, 2400 RGB in vertical orientation, just press create. I'm going to actually press back my tabs here so I can actually see my document. Great. So the way we made this poster here is actually we use the font and then we actually distorted the font, like customize the font a little bit. So it actually fits our design needs on this poster, which is really cool. This is like a, you can't, al you can't always do that. But in this case, this font is an open source font and you can do whatever you want with it. So yeah. Oh, by the way, the font was, oh, not this, um, the font was Outward uh, from vevelteen.fr. And you can just go there, download it for free and have as much fun as you want. And also there are another amazing fonts on this website. So I highly recommend it and it's totally free. Again, let's just jump back to Illustrator and let's just start. So actually I'm going to make a new document and I'm going to paste the colors from this poster here. I already had, the, had them copied before. So just going to put this here and actually going to just use this as a reference, put it in my other screen really quick. Cool. So the code is uh, be the hero of your own story. It's a very, very strong code. I, there is like a multiple videos on YouTube, like just um, sharing this code, which is really cool. So let's just use the font outward. I'm going to use it outward block. This perfect. So as soon as you choose your font, you choose your code. You don't, you don't need to use the same code as I am using. This is just so we can actually learn my, the technique and actually see how I actually design this poster. So feel free to be as creative as you want. Let's select size font. Let's go to object and then expand and op op expand object and fill. Press OK. Great. Now just like ungroup it. And let's just group the very specific words so I can actually color them really easily. Of oops, uh, G, command G to group them, or you can also go to object and then group but always use a shortcut so you can actually save those few seconds of your life. Story. Great. So the first thing we need to do is actually make like a nice composition with this text. So let's just put this one here. Try to like, like a Tetris game right now. Try to find like places where this can actually match really easily at the moment. And then we can adjust it with more time later. Story. Yeah, something like this. So this, this could actually work really well for this exercise, but it's always good actually for me, even because I can, I, then I can actually follow the, the example really well, which is cool. Let's just, I'm uh, going to scale this up a little bit. And now I'm going to start doing some customization. So using the direct selection tool here, I'm going just first just align this perfectly. Just try to do my, my best job here. Try to make nice spacing in between them. And yeah. So using our direct selection tool here, I'm going to start pushing these points up here and try to match them with the top letter. Great. We'll do the same thing for with a Y. Something like this. Maybe actually I need to push the Y a little bit further here. So it doesn't like touch us too much. Going to do something here with the E just like this and then so I will be like actually zooming in and out a little bit because I actually need to select the points so I'm deeply sorry for that I can imagine how annoying that is actually and I will try not to but if I probably will do more zooms than normal and just P then maybe I'm gonna expand stretch this one here actually I have really much fun doing like stretching fonts sometimes. I know you can, because you can't normally do it on your day-to-day -day job. You can actually not do this to like a brand font or anything. You know, it's like a crime. So it's nice when you can do it for like 
It's like playing design GTA or something like that. You can do whatever you want. No one is looking and it's just a game. <laughs> and you can be as creative as you want. Uh, let's just make this one, push this a little bit. I'm probably going to make it a little bit different from my example. It's always hard to replicate exactly what you've done before. So I just want to pass a technique here to actually share some some thoughts like what while I'm doing, like I'm just going to stretch this, see. Because sometimes I actually have better ideas later than in the first moment that I do this. I just uh, stretch this one. We don't actually can we need to be very careful so we actually don't lose the like the shape of the letter and then we actually can understand the words. But as long as we actually don't lose the shape of the letter and we are and we are safe on that, we'll be alright. Actually maybe now I'm looking. Maybe I can actually stretch this E and H a little bit like this. So then I can pull the O from your actually need more space there. Maybe I will do that. Pushing, pushing this one a little bit further. Let's just push this a little bit for to here. And then pulling these ones here. To here, so I can actually give some space for the O. And then the O matches perfectly there. See, it's looking much better than the example. So, as long as it's looking better, it's okay to do it. And it looks like a barcode, like a shopping mall barcode or something right now. Which is, I don't, I don't mind it. Let's just keep going. So then I would, actually I don't have my, much space on this one now. Let's just do the Y here then. So let's just start stretching this story word here. Push it up here like this. Pull it up. Something like this. I actually... Let's just... Oh, actually doing some to this, this Y detail here. Pull it down here. And then actually, yes, actually, let's just push this inside a little bit so I can actually drag the letter S a little bit in. And then again, actually going to play with that O from the your see if I can actually maybe going to push this like this and then make the T match the R there. Let's see if I can make it perfect. Let's just maybe gonna get some guides here to help me a little bit. Just going to move it like this. Yes, looking really nice. That's just a few pixels and we are done. Uh, story, although I actually use the, the gap of the O to, to write Joe Rogan, but maybe I can use the this gap here. So it'll be a little bit that different from the example, I'm sorry. Just because I think this looks better. And your and then on let's just use this space here. I'm afraid of like this uh, R actually looking like a N now, so I'm actually going to pull it back again. Just like these points here. I don't want it to lose the shape and then be like get a little bit confusing. So okay, sometimes Illustrator don't let me select all the points or select way too many points. Story. I think I really really enjoy this one actually, and maybe let's just push this inside like this. Match there. Get the Y here. Match the Y. As long as you like create like a really interesting shape with all the letters and you don't lose the form of them in a way that you actually can't read them anymore. You just like just have fun and be as creative as possible, like I think. And yeah, actually it's looking looking really cool. Now I just need to write give the credit to Joe. Joe I was just going to Put it inside the S here. That's uh, just gonna stretch it. I'm going to do the same thing here. Oops. 
Rogan. Rogan. Perfect. And yeah, I think it's I think it's looking really cool actually. I hope he likes it. I hope Joe Rogan actually sees this poster and says like, oh I really like this poster. <laughs> let's just give it some color. And let's just actually ungroup this really quick. And let's oh, what are these the colors? Oh there they are. I actually saved them until now. Let's just uh, make a new background layer here. Create a rectangle tool. Let's just draw a nice rectangle for the background, please, on the background here. And let's just turn it off so we can actually see the words. Let's just change the colors to hero and story is the same color. And then we have your, which is reddish. Pinkish, reddish, I don't know, maybe. And then this one is the light color here. And Joe, it's light. And Joe is gray, actually. And then the background, it's dark. I just select this, group it all together, center of the artboard. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Let's just make, just, you know, always, why not? Always make a noise layer over the top here. Let's just make it black and the effects and texture, grain, stippled grain, intensity of 25, contrast as 50 and just press OK. Opacity, let's go to screen blending mode and use it at 5%. And let's just zoom in to actually check if 5% is nice. Maybe we can actually increase a little bit. Maybe go up to 10. Yes. Yeah, 10 is still not damaging too much. So, okay, I can actually delete these colors here. I really want to clean up the screen, so bye. So, yeah, this is it. Another typography words of wisdom poster. I hope you enjoyed the poster of today. And please, if you didn't, to subscribe to the channel yet please do subscribe to the channel like the video share this with joe rogan if you know him and with your with everyone actually share and yeah i hope i see you in the next one and i hope you have a nice day too bye bye